Hi guys, I'm Cash and I'm back because since posting my Evoca guide earlier this week, I've learned some more cool secret interactions for preservation Evoca that I want to show you. One of the things someone requested from my last video was how to use the stasis master spell. So I'm going to show you that as well as a few other things. If you haven't seen my last video, I am going to reference a few things from it. So if you're feeling lost, I recommend giving it a quick watch and then coming back to this one. If you have seen my guide already, I just want to say thank you so much for subbing and commenting. You guys have really been working that YouTube algorithm for me, uh, which has spread it to more people and hopefully more people are enjoying that video and will enjoy this one too. All right, so let's get into it. This first one is brought to you by these guys. I don't know where I'm gonna put them on the screen yet. Pretty much some people have been commenting on my last guide with some of their own tips and advice for preservation at VOCA. So if you have some, feel free to comment them below. Maybe I'll put them in my next video. Okay, so this first one is another life find interaction and we're just building on that group hug scenario. So a quick recap, to create a group hug, we're going to throw out a couple of echoes and then a verdant embrace to give everyone the life find buff. This creates a group hug, uh, and I call it a group hug, by the way, because you've created like a little self-healing mini group. By using Echo, you've spread the lifebind buff to multiple people, and any healing that they receive will be given to the other people in the group. Anyway, the next step is to take your group hug and combine it with Emerald Communion, which on its own is a great self-heal. It also heals your group once you're full health and also gives you mana back. Uh, but with everyone receiving 40% of everyone else's healing, this is just math that I can't do. Uh, it's pretty cool and it might just be best if I show you. But just as a point of reference, we're gonna have a quick look at how Emerald Communion heals on its own without any life bind or echo or anything on it. So I'm just casting it now and having a look at the healing meters it heals for about 308k so that's just casting it on myself but of course i'm full health so it's just healing up those training dummies in front of me now let's take a look at how emerald communion interacts with life bind so we're going to spread out some echoes i'm going to throw out three and then vote an embrace onto tuna and straight away hit emerald communion Shit. <laughs> Having a look at the healing meters now, you can see that Emerald Communion has still healed for 308k, but Life Bind has added an extra 352,000 healing to your group. So while Emerald Communion is very strong on its own, a uh, great emergency button if you need it, if you're able to prepare a little bit in advance and combine it with Echo, Verdant Embrace, and Life Bind, you can do so much more healing. The next one is a bit of a weird one, but just bear with me. Uh, so we've talked before about how you can combine burden... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so we've talked before about how you can combine burn Embrace and Life Bind with pretty much any ability, really, uh, to replicate healing without using Echo. But have you thought about combining it with a health potion? Yep, so after the global cooldown, you can burn an embrace to someone or actually take a time to combine with a group hug combo and then drop a healing potion into the mix and it totally works. So this is interesting, yes, but like how helpful? Just you wait. So once I knew this, I decided to Google all the health potions available in Dragonflight because we do have some pretty interesting, cool new things available and I found this. Potion of Withering Vitality. It is a big healing potion with a catch. You take the amount of healing from the potion as damage over time for the next 15 seconds and it's not dispellable. However, consider this. So you go through your group hug ramp. You can begin this even earlier, by the way, by throwing out some life flames to get an essence burst proc, meaning that you can get four echoes out on your group and cover everybody. Anyway, starting with your group hug, you now drink the potion of withering vitality for a massive heal to ourselves, which equates to about 55K healing to everyone in the group hug. And then we kind of just hope the plague doesn't kill us. <laughs> I'm kidding. That is not thinking hard enough. After drinking the potion, we use Renewing Blaze because Renewing Blaze heals you for 100% of the damage you take. So not only does it just negate the damage you take, but because it's actually healing you, you are healing your team affected by Life Bind. 
Now, I thought I could math this out, but I think it's a little more complicated than I thought. I initially figured that if you take about 137k damage over 15 seconds, that's about 9.1k damage per tick. But if this is healing you, then that equates to about 29k healing for your group over 8 seconds. But because your group is life blinded, I think it actually works out to be more. So you start with your group hug ram by throwing out some echoes. Now this is going to happen pretty quickly because life bind only lasts for five seconds. So watch, but I'll play it back for you. So now I'm going to vote an embrace to tuna. I'm going to drop my healing potion and I'm going to hit renewing blaze. And you can see it ticking here. Life bind runs out. And now you can see my health bar. It's like up, down, up, down. <laughs> So I thought we'd actually go back and watch it again. Um, something to note with the healing meters, if you do want to keep an eye on them, is that for some reason, midway through this, they reset. I actually demoed this a few times before recording it, and every single time they reset. So maybe just keep an eye on them. Um, I'll show you what they look like afterwards, but it doesn't seem to show all the healing. Uh, maybe you can test this out and let me know if it works differently for you, but I just couldn't get the healing meters to stay up for some reason. So you're going to see a few things happen on the screen. Uh, you're going to see me Vernon Embrace to Tuna. Uh, so you'll see that Vernon Embrace heal go out on the whole group immediately after I'm going to drop this potion. Uh, I'm going to do it quickly because Lifeline only lasts for five seconds. So it's Vernon Embrace, drop the potion, Renewing Blaze. And I think by the time I get to Renewing Blaze, uh, just with all the GCDs, it only ticks about twice. So keep an eye on it. So I Vernon Embrace, drop the potion for 94,000 for everybody. And you get a couple of ticks there. I've got the Renewing Blaze buff. I've still got the debuff. You can watch my health bars tick up and down. And yeah, the healing meters are resetting. My bit of advice for this one is to just be careful because the damage lasts for 15 seconds and Renewing Blaze will only protect your ass for like eight seconds. So you will take roughly 60 to 65K damage in the last seven seconds. And you just need to be mindful of any upcoming mechanics that might overlap with this. And the last one I'm going to cover off in this video is the stasis combination for Master Spell. Uh, you might already know it. Uh, it took me a while to figure it out. And once I did, I was like, duh. Uh, but let me walk you through it. So it's actually very simple. Uh, you just hit stasis and then cauterizing flame, cauterizing flame, cauterizing flame. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So the way that this works is because Cauterizing Flame is a dispel, if there's nothing to dispel on the people that you've selected, uh, it won't go on cooldown. So you can actually store three of them in your stasis. Uh, and the cool thing is, is that whoever you cast them on to begin with is who they will be cast on once you release your stasis. So make sure you're not casting them all on yourself. Make sure you're casting them on three separate people. That way, when you release your stasis, you've got three dispels already stored. And because it's not on cooldown, you can also dispel a fourth person. Now, I know that your mind immediately goes to bursting. Uh, the problem I think that will happen with bursting is that if you mistime it and you accidentally dispel someone during your stasis ramp, uh, then it's not actually going to work because once it actually dispels a stack of bursting, it will go on cooldown and then you won't be able to store. So I would say to make it work for bursting, you do need to prep it quite far in advance. Make sure you don't accidentally use it as a dispel. And so this is what I mean when I say it's actually super obvious, but if cauterizing flame has nothing to dispel, it actually does doesn't go on cooldown. Yeah, see? <laughs> you can see me casting it down here and it's not going off cooldown. So to put it in a master spell effect with stasis is as simple as I said. You just press stasis. I'm going to put Cauterizing Flame on Tuna, on myself, and on this training dummy. And you can see now that my stasis is full with three Cauterizing Flames. And when you release them, the Cauterizing Flames will go on to the three people that you cast them on to begin with. So on Tuna, on me, on the dummy. And then it's still not on cooldown, so you can absolutely dispel someone else. So that's it from me today. Uh, I just want to do a little video with a few things that I've learned. If you've got something else that's cool and you want to share, post it in the comments below. Uh, I plan to release more of these. I absolutely want to do one for raid because the raid builds are so different to the Mythic Plus builds. Uh, but unfortunately, I didn't get to play in the beta and I only got to raid once this week. I had my Christmas party yesterday, which is why I'm a little hungover. <laughs> 
I hope you enjoyed this video and again if you watched and supported my first video uh, it's just gone absolutely crazy I've only been on YouTube for not even two months I think uh, and that one just blew up so thank you Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. I get really nervous making these videos because I have no experience in them whatsoever. So I'm super glad that you guys enjoy them. And if you haven't watched my last video, it will be here or here, I don't know, it will be somewhere on the screen. I'll put it in the description below. I've also made some general how to improve in Mythic Plus guides. It's from last season, but it's still only like six weeks old. Uh, so it should be pretty relevant. It's for any class. And uh, yeah, thank you again for watching. I hope you found this one helpful.